The Planaria wanted to sing with the choir, but they wouldn't let him join. They said he was flat. Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to continue with the third phylum in Kingdom Animalia, which is Phylum Platyhelminthes, which you can also remember as the phylum with colorful, colorful flatworms. Join me in this video as we have a look at the unique characteristics of organisms in Phylum Platyhelminthes. Starting with the fact that they are known as flatworms and their habitats are in marine environments, fresh water, or also in damp terrestrial environments. Flatworms are flat and they have an unsegmented body. This is to place the cells close to the surrounding. And the modes of nutrition of platyhelminthes are as heterotrophs. Their roles are mostly as parasites with the famous example of tapeworms, but also can play a role as scavengers and predators in their own environments. Their basic body plan is triploblastic in that they are they have three germ layers, of course, with ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm, and they are also acelomates. They have bilateral symmetry and they show the beginning of cephalization or development of a head. As we go through the next few phyla, you're going to note this word more, cephalization. So, kalau organism itu start untuk bentuk kepala ataupun bahagian yang nampak macam kepala, itu digelar sebagai cephalization. Uh, dan biasanya ini juga diikuti dengan pembentukan sistem saraf yang semakin uh, canggih, semakin modern. Okay, so it's go also going to have some simple nervous systems in there. Platyhelminthes are also usually hermaphrodites. That means they have both the male and the female reproductive organs in one organism. Kalau tidak silap, ini digelar sebagai kunsa. And they also have simple nervous system because, you know, starting with the head. Okay, so this is a diagram showing the simple nervous system in organism called Planaria species, which is an example of platyhelminth. So you see here, you have the ocelli or eye spots. They have eyes, but the eyes don't really detect images the way our eyes do. The ocelli in Planaria mainly used to detect light intensity. So they tengok mana yang terik, mana yang uh, gelap sedikit. Okay, another component of the simple nervous system of platyhelminths is the cerebral, cerebral ganglia. So, ganglia maksud dia gumpalan neuron. So, di sini dia ada neuron yang berkumpul, bergumpal di bahagian yang nampak macam kepala. Cerebral, like the otak cerebral, ganglia. Dan kamu nampak juga dia punya nervous system itu sangat padat di sekitar eye spot tadi so that it can interpret the sensory information that is being given you also notice that it has lateral nerve cords so yang daripada cerebral ganglia warna kuning turun ke bawah sampai kepada hujung itu adalah lateral nerve cord lateral meaning di tepi so dia ada kiri dan kanan lateral nerve cord and they also have these transverse nerves. So, yang macam menghubungkan kiri dengan kanan, ada juga dia punya nerve yang warna coklat itu. Uh, bukan juga lah warna coklat. Um, di sebelah bahagian yang warna coklat itu. So, if you're looking over here, okay, you're gonna see that from this lateral nerve cord to this lateral nerve cord, there is the yellow part. Okay, yang bahagian kuning itu adalah transverse nerve. Okay, so that is the simple nervous system of platyhelminths. And we'll continue with the other unique characteristics. Another thing that we like to point out in platyhelminths is protonephridia as its excretory organ. So, kalau kita cakap pasal uh, sponge dengan nidaria tadi, kita tidak cakap pasal dia punya excretory system. Kita tidak cakap pasal macam mana dia kencing atau buang air besar. And because that's because they don't have excretory systems. But in platyhelminthes, we are starting to see the excretory system and excretory organs developing. So, protonephridia is a network of tubules with ciliated structures that are called flame cells. 
dalam protonephridia ada ini flame cell. Okey, setiap flame cell ada cilium di dalam dan ini structure untuk setiap flame cell. So, fungsi dia adalah untuk excretion. Protonephridia yang akan tapis bahan-bahan kumbahan dalam platy helminthes untuk dibuang daripada badan. Okay, so it is a very, 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 very simple kind of organ similar to how our kidneys will clean the toxins in our body. Okay, so it's like a very amateur kidney. Other unique characteristic of platyhelminthes is that they lack a circulatory system. The body muscle cannot be contracted and their locomotion is only by swimming. So, dia berenang begitu saja. Dia tiada contraction of muscles macam kita. And they have a very simple digestive tract where they have a gastrovascular cavity with only one opening. Again, the elementary canal is incomplete. So, dia punya mulut adalah di bawah sini. Bukan di bahagian yang nampak macam kepala. Mulut dia di bawah sini. That is a pharynx. And then the gastrovascular cavity extends throughout the body. So, yang coklat itu mulut dia. Coklat di dalam badan itu adalah dia punya gastrovascular cavity. Nanti bahan kumbahan pun keluar melalui mulut. Half mouth, no anus. This is the gastrovascular cavity. This is the mouth. Okay, so that is pretty much it for my points on platyhelminthes. Of course, there are more interesting extra information out there. And over here, I have links to two videos. The first is a video uh, from Jordan Laubach. And that is on platyhelminthes phylum. You can scan the QR code or follow the link below. Or and you can, this is a popular one for my other students, which is on flatworm pe penis fencing. But do watch the first video before you go to the second video so that it makes more sense. This is a video from Nat Geo Wild. Feel free to scan the QR code or follow the link in the description to access the video. That's all for Phylum Plati Helminthes and I will see you again in the next video. Thank you very much for your time and attention and see you soon.